umaga, magandang hapon at magandang gabi. I am so excited for today's video kasi nakita ko na siya. Tapos na. What is up my ponies? As you can see, I am so excited for today's video. If we're just first meeting, hi. My name is Sharina and today I'm so excited to show you my Walmart plant and pot haul. I don't have that many plants to show you, but I do have one main one that that's all we need to even show you today. I have a couple of little guys that I do want to share with you, but for the most part, there's more pots than pans. Anywho, pans! Before we go on, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Jolene Foley. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene! For inspiring me to get my butt up that one day and head to my nearest Walmart and find this plant that I have been looking for ever since I left the Philippines. Can I introduce you, ladies and gentlemen, to Miss Cebu Blue, aka Epipranum Pinatum. Now, before we move on, people have mispronounced the word Cebu. Cebu, named after the province out in the Philippines where we actually spent the majority of our time on vacation last year. Now, I know there are other plants that are native to the Philippines like the Hoyas, a lot of allocation, and this holds something special in my heart. A quick little story time about the Cebu Blue. This was the plant that I fell in love with when I toured my family's tropical garden in the Philippines when we visited last year. I have been back there a couple of times before, but that time last year was really a time that I was more aware of how blessed that we are here. Now I know that it's a little weird. It really represented to me that we are so blessed up here. Living in California of all places. Hello, always hello. Now this is a very young version of this plant as they get older and once you give them a pole to climb on, just like Cardi B, they will get on that pole and they will climb and get bigger and actually develop the fenestrations or the holes, the splits, however you want to call them, which is why, including myself, many have mistaken this for the Raphidophora tetrasperma, which is the mini monstera. And this, again, is a potho, so it is very easy to care for. Found it at my local Walmart and, hello, for $12.75. So it was even on clearance. It was $5 off originally. This is $17. Let me show you the label that this is on here. This label is actually on this Cebu Blue and this says beautiful home decor. Your label maker dude literally has one job to figure out what this is called, put it on the paper and make it easier for us to take care of it. But it's okay because we do know what this plant is called. They don't provide the name. They do provide are the care tips for it, which is medium light water when soil feels dry, very easy to grow. Pretty much your basic care tips for these plants. As they get bigger, they will get more green, they will climb and they will develop the beautiful little holes that we all love okay so hi Cebu Blue welcome to the family I already know where to put you actually I don't know where to put you so we're just gonna put you right over here moving right along to a couple of other plants that I got at Walmart this one Hylia Cadere Minima, aka aluminum plant or the watermelon pilea. Anything watermelon I'm into. Watermelon peperomia, Dishidia watermelon ovata, anything watermelon I'm down. Also called the aluminum plant because as you can see it's got beautiful silver metallic markings on its leaves. It's got some texture to it, a little thin, kind of, kind of a little crunchy but not in a way that she's dry. This little info card says that she enjoys low light. Now, I also looked up what this looks like online when she gets bigger, when she gets more leggy, and I really love that look. I like them kind of just springing up and being crazy and all over the place. If you do not want him to be leggy, then prune him off, pinch him off, much like any other plant that you want to keep compact and maintain. I don't want to say I'm fully versed on my pileas, but I have learned that some can be a little trickier than the other, but this one looks super duper easy. I also got this one for $2.94. Can you believe it? What a deal. It's kind of hard to pass up. Welcome to the family. Next one that I'm so excited to share with you is this pilea mollusk moon valley friendship plant. Texture come through. This is not my first time 
done with this plant. This is actually my second one. I have mine right up there, not getting the best light. And what I have learned when they are not getting the best light is that the variegation, the brown or the maroon that's in the middle disappeared. So all the other leaves that he is growing right now have been a little bit smaller and also they are fully green. Still beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's still really cute. What I think I'll do is try again with much better lighting, but the watering for this guy have been super duper easy. I have let this gone on for 10 days, even up to two weeks without watering them. Now I have mentioned this in other videos, some of my textured plants like the velvety ones or like the ones that just have a little bit of fuzz on them tend to not need as much water as your normal just flat leafed plant. I am still learning. Please let me know down below what you think, but this guy in particular and other ones have been much easier and not needed as much water even in the summer. Again, these two that I got were both $2.94. Can you believe it? I can't. So on to the pot. All right, finally, on to the pots that we got at Walmart. I did get quite a few. This one is so cute, just a plain four inch white pot with gold dots. Actually, it's more rose gold dots. It also already has a drainage hole. You just have to pop out that little plastic part. Another four inch planter that I got. And this is the cutest little cactus pot. And it says, stuck on you. Got this feeling here deep in my soul and I just can't go. And I'm on my way. It says stuck on you. I'm gonna put my little prickly pear on it. Again, just like the first pot, it also has that little drainage hole that you can pop out which of course I'm gonna do because I want to be able to overwater <laughs> just kidding I don't I've got another one just like that it says "Ooh, girl looking sharp now look how cute that is I love this saying I love pots with cute little sayings on them and also if you don't like the saying here you're good this again was also 174 super excited about that one I believe this one was about $3. Again, drainage hole. Got a little bit of a diamond, or so a geometric texture to it. Also makes it easier to lift and move around and carry. But it's one of my favorites. It says, give me that dirt. Get it because of the soil. This is a concrete pot. Where is the price? This one, I believe, was $4.94. A lot of these were either $174, $144, and the highest one being $8.64. Ooh, one of my favorites. A marble pot. I actually have two of these. These are my favorites. This one is a six inch and I got a bigger version. This is the exact same thing, just a one gallon version. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the plant and pot haul. Leave me a comment if you have a Cebu Blue, if you're looking for it. Like, subscribe. You already know the drill. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> You sound a little bit of pain,